Welcome to Comic Confidential, the weekly show where we discuss our favourite things from popular culture. My name is Cade. And my name is Troy. Thanks for joining us this week. And this week, we are talking about all of our favourite things from the year of 2018. And speaking of our favourite things from the year 2018... We're joined in the studio by Amy. Yeah. Everyone's favorite thing from 2018. <laughs> Everyone's Only favorite 2018. Host. Only, Only 2018. 2018. It, was, it was your highlight year. Yep. Amy in 2017 was terrible. Oh, she was a bitch. No one liked her. Yeah. 2019 hasn't started off too well either. <laughs> <laughs> but 2018, it was good. Yep. That's the highlight. It was highlight. a good year to be Amy. Yep. Uh, we are going to get into that very shortly. But before we do that, there are a couple of things that you guys can do to help support the show you beautiful bastards yeah so the first thing you can do is leave us a five star review on itunes that's right or you can visit patreon.com forward slash comic com pod and help support the show or you can become a part of the action by joining the comic confidential listener community on facebook that's right that was way too friendly yeah. oh i'm sorry i'm th- i just said i'm starting 2019 off uh, so i was a- bitch amy pretty good amy so i need to now be like nice amy nice amy yeah okay. right that's um that's my least favourite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, back to 2018, you, yeah. Amy. Just fucking like it, then. Just, there you go. Just, just get, get in there. there. <laughs> just fucking like it. Yeah. Would you? Anyway, well, it's the first week of the brand new year, and what better way to celebrate the whole new year, new me bullshit that usually happens around this time by talking all the things we loved from last year. A polarising year where we had amazing movies like Infinity War and then others like <clears throat> The Predator. <laughs> that was a good movie. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't. A year where Keeping Up With The Kardashians got renewed for its 16th season mm. and Daredevil got cancelled after three. <laughs> it was that an seems justified. <laughs> I, yeah. the dev- I think there's a tie-in somewhere there. Yeah, I definitely. Think so. yeah. I want to see the crossover between the Kardashians and the Defenders. Yeah, it, <laughs> defending the, the Kardashians. It's like a verse, like yeah, a versus all. thing, like the Kardashians versus the Defenders. Yeah, like I like that. Kanye versus the world. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye versus everyone. Yep. Uh, look, we're not just going to be talking about uh, TV and movies, though. There are absolutely no limits. That's anything we loved that happened last year it can be a book. That's a thing that mm. you know people read sometimes. Yeah. Uh, comics, movies, music, memes, uh, or memes, whatever you want to call memes. it. It's memes. It's hundred percent memes. Is it? Yes. Yeah, I know. Or someone, I, called I feel it, like someone called it a meme. A meme oh, of the day. Oh, <laughs> just shoot yourself if you call it meme or I was memes. Like, what? Or, I feel like they figured that out about the same year memes came out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And people have just been fucking it up since. Yeah, I think so. All right, Cade, uh, you want to kick us off, man? Yeah. What's a, what's a favorite thing from 2018? Okay, I'm going to kick it off with a book. Oh, damn. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go with a, an actual book. The uh, A book I read early this year, would have been very, very early on, was um, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, classic. I did read that. Yeah. What a good classic. book. <laughs> it's a classic. I, and, like, it's two I, years old. Mm. I, I read that <laughs> and I like instantly became less of an asshole. Maybe Did I you though? No. Nah. Yeah. I, I felt like I probably came more of an asshole because I just wasn't giving a fuck about anything. Yeah, I, I did read that as well. Uh, I didn't really like it. I read it really quickly. So I, I think I read it over a couple of hours. You read the first page and the last page. Yeah, it? that's it. <laughs> I guess the middle. Yeah. That's by Mark Manson. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look, I didn't mind it. I, I just think by the end, it's kind of... I don't even really know what the message was, to be yeah, honest with you. I think you only really need to read the, the first half of it because yeah. then the, the last half of it is kind of like, this is what Joe experienced when he stopped giving a fuck. Mm. Yeah. And, fuck Joe. And yeah. realistically, it's a, you know, it's a guy that was kind of well off anyway. That's kind of... He now, has no worries in his life anyway. That's kind of really well off. Yeah. That's kind of just telling you like, yeah, you just don't just don't give a fuck, man. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, cool, because <laughs> I have like hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars in the bank, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, hey, here's how you not give a fuck about being poor. You just write a book and sell millions of copies and yeah. then like you're rich. And <laughs> that's all you have to do. <laughs> then you don't give a fuck. <laughs> I should have written a ki- I feel like I'd be good at writing a kid's book. Yeah. That'd be all I could write. That's about my like literacy level yeah. as well. <laughs> that's like um that's that's what celebrities do. Yeah. Like, like Andy Lee. I saw do you know the book that oh, he wrote? Yeah. I, it's got a dumb name. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I, sh- I saw it in the shops the other day and I was like, far Did out. Didn't he do that as a goof? Yeah. And now he's got two versions of it. That's ridiculous. I'm like, you were already I well thought off. it was um I thought Hamish's wife. She did too. She did as well. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Well, there you go. Uh, I did see like a book. Uh, it was a kid's book. Something like, uh, I might have the title wrong, but it's like, does it fart? Question mark. 
Yeah, I at, feel like that's what his. I, it's something along those oh, lines. Is it, is his it, book yeah. is called. There's a lot of there's a lot of kids fart books. Yeah, yeah it's right. Like, it's the thing that's going. Like around. everybody poos. We bought that for our godson. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm Does just a poo? walking children's book then. Yeah. Everybody poos. Everybody poos, but Kate poos more. Yeah, I poo the most. Yeah, but Kate poos the most. I also read a book mm-hmm. this year. Just and, one. Just one? Just one. Yeah. Um, I managed to... What I initially wanted to do when I set out for 2018, I said, I am going to, at the very least, I want it to be realistic. It's like, I'm going to read a book a month hmm. and I should be able to get 12 books in. I got like seven. <laughs> yeah, I, I had the same same type of thing, except I was doing audio books as well. Yeah. And I smashed, I reckon I smashed about eight books early on in the first two months. Yeah. And so then, you cheat? Yeah, I don't cheat. <laughs> I, I call it cheating. You can Why? multitask. Yeah, I call it multitask. You can multitask. Yeah. That's the thing. Like you can still do everything else and have your book going, but if you have to sit down there and read words, mm-hmm. you can't do enough. I feel you like you're reading thing. the suckers' way. Then it's Maybe. like watching a movie with subtitles on it. You look away. You're like, "What the fuck's happening now?" Yeah, exactly. Well, you can still hear it. <laughs> no, but you kind of like <laughs> it's in another language. <laughs> you kind of like tune out. You know? Yeah. I yeah. feel like you tune out a bit and you, you miss some stuff. Well. I also listen to them at double speed. Oh, oh God. Yeah. So you're not absorbing anything. I'm absorbing it all at double speed. <laughs> you're like basically getting the title and then... The ending. The ending yeah. and a couple of words in between. Uh, I read a book. Uh, it's called Between the World and Me. Okay. Uh, it's by a Tanahisi Coates. Uh, who is probably That's a lot of coats. well in the in the in the in the nerd realm probably more known for um, being the writer of Black Panther on the new reboot oh, of cool. the Black Panther comic series. Uh, but yeah, basically, he's a New York Times writer, uh, and this is basically written as a kind of like a, a letter to his uh, son about what it's like, you know, like the basically how hard it is going to be. As a black man in America. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, Which, and it's just written so well. It's so goddamn well. I read that book in a day and a half. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's how you know you've got a good book. Yeah. I did. I barely, I think I put that thing down to work and sleep. Yeah, right. And that was about it. There you go. Yeah. Amy? Shall I pick a book too? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, I guess <laughs> so, if you have a book. Well, look, so I read books. I literally read a book yesterday in a whole like one sitting. Oh, wow. Okay. Was I, that Harry Potter? Uh, no, no, but I was going to say that if I had to pick a book, the Fantastic Beaks. Beaks? Beaks. Mm. Fantastic Beaks <laughs> and where to find them. <laughs> and where the to squawk end them. of the face. Fantastic Beasts um, Illustrated. Yes. Book I read this year. That's Very not a book. No, it it's is. Just pictures. Yeah, but I mean, like I read, I literally read a book yesterday okay. and I read a book last week. And I try and read a book once a week. Are you going to tell us what these books are? Um, no. Well, the one that I read yesterday was, <laughs> was a bit messed up, so we're not going to talk about that one. Okay. It was kind of about <laughs> child trafficking oh, and things oh, like that. Okay. So it was a pretty, pretty That's hard exactly one. exactly what this show's about. But then I was telling you earlier, I went home and watched The Winter Soldier, so I was like, oh, yeah, all yeah. is right, all is right in the world. <laughs> nice. Um, so if I had to pick one, probably the illustrated version stuck with me a little bit more because it was pictures. Right. And it was the only book I read with pictures like this last year. Nice. Is that the one that kind of gives a description of like all the beasts? Yes. Yeah, that looks so good. I want to buy that book. Yeah, and it's like a massive book. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Like, I don't even know paper sizes, but I want to say like whatever the size between an A1 and an A4 is. That's that's pretty big. Yeah. So anyway, I read that book. It has no content whatsoever <laughs> to discuss, but it does explain a lot of um, things about the different kind of beasts that we see in that world. And it was good to read before um, The Crimes of Grindelwald came out. Oh, so you kind of had like a little bit of inside and knowledge on yeah, that. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, there's so many things in that book, you forget it after you read two pages. But, yeah, mm, fair there enough. There you go, book. One yeah. book, I picked one. Damn, very good. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, well, I think it's around to me, yeah? Yep. I'm going to pick TV shows. Oh, okay, off good. the bat this early. Yeah, Let's mate, go. Wow. Just, just going for it. We spoke about this briefly in our, uh, our last week's Unplugged <laughs> uh, it's the good place. Yeah, I fucking love yeah. that show. Yeah, oh yeah, it's so good. Oh my god, season three, um, still going. So it will continue into 2019. But um, it's just I am I'm currently rewatching it now. So mm. I've almost finished season two in uh, I want to say I don't know a week. Wow, so season one and two. All I know is that Beck is back, baby. Oh, Beck mm. is back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ted Danson had other things other than Cheers and Becca. I don't think he did. He did. Now I don't he has think a good so. place. 
Yeah, now he has a good place. He has three things. Three things. You know, it's better than nothing. It, that, that's true. He's had a pretty shit career. <laughs> so he had three good gigs. <laughs> I um, binge watched the whole first season in one day. Yeah, oh, it's so good. Really? Reese had just had his wisdom teeth out, so he was like... And I don't even know what... Pos- I'd never even heard about it yeah. until... When did he get his teeth out? November. So literally what started watching it in November. Right. Of eight, 2018. He was like all drugged up and he was like, hmm, this one looks cool. I'm like, really? This is what we're going to watch right now? Like, you're not going to be paying attention. I'm not going to be paying attention, but we'll watch it. And then he like was like, can I have a glass of water? I'm like, shut up. I'm watching. <laughs> so something I need to check out. Oh, yes. definitely. All right. Definitely. Well, I, look, I have a handful of days left of holidays. <laughs> I might watch all three seasons. Yeah, three yeah, days, that's look, all you need. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you could probably do it. <laughs> yeah, right. How many seasons to a, is it like a limited series or like limited episodes, like 13 yeah, or something? Yeah, it's 13, I think, Ooh, roughly. That's definitely bingeable. Yeah, oh, yeah, mm. definitely. Well, you know what, talking about bingeable TV shows, yeah. yep. it's one that you and I have watched, Troy, but Amy's yet to get onto the bandwagon, oh. and that's Titans. Oh, oh this yeah. Thing. yeah. That was actually in my list for a different reason, but continue. The, oh, really? The only TV show Cade watched in 2018. <laughs> one, of, <laughs> one of the three. <laughs> one of them being uh, Daredevil, Yep, and uh, the other being two episodes of The Walking Dead. Purely, so, purely for the enough. show, too, I reckon. Hey? I reckon if we didn't do Daredevil season three yeah. for the show, you probably wouldn't have gotten to it. Yeah, probably not. Because it still took you about five weeks. Yeah, and I was cramming it yeah. to like get it in. I was up to the eleventh hour yeah. <laughs> trying to get that in for the uh for the for the podcast. But um yeah, Titans, man. What a what an absolutely fantastic uh T V show. And uh coming to Netflix mm-hmm. everywhere. <laughs> yep. Unmagically uh <laughs> on the eleventh. Yeah. So if you haven't seen Titans yet, uh you'll have an opportunity to do it without being a goddamn pirate. Yeah. That was on my list for an accomplishment I had in 2018 was doing, like, not hearing any spoilers oh. or anything related. to How have to you Titans. gone with that? I literally have no idea. Oh, so good. I know what they look like. That's yeah. it. So I'm waiting for the 11th. Oh, Amy, you are in for a treat. That's they my all, list. Of, oh, they all can't die. Talk. They all no. die, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all right. It'll be worth it. I can't talk tonight, but I was trying to say that was my miscellaneous. Oh, okay. Just in case oh, yeah. I needed to throw one out there. So yeah. there you go. Got in. So hang on. We're talking about favorite things from 2018. <laughs> it was my favorite miscellaneous thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> It was a never got to. overarching thing. Right. Yeah, if, it was my favorite lazy thing I did. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a Do you have a favorite TV show? I do actually. Yeah. And I've mentioned it before. Um, was Sabrina? Oh, okay. Cool. It is. Have you watched that? No, Kate? I haven't oh. watched it yet. Don't ask Kate. <laughs> ask me. Yeah, I've seen things. <laughs> you need to binge watch that also. I'll have two TV screens going. I have the yeah. iPad. I'll have the big TV. <laughs> no, yeah. you can't multitask TV shows. Oh, I don't know. If I put subtitles on one, <laughs> this guy'll uh, have he'll have. An audio book going over here. He'll have work on one screen. He'll be editing the show. There'll be TV shows going. <laughs> Everything's happening at double speed. Yep. Look, there's and five put- screens in this office. <laughs> Not I can including do it. phones. Yeah, so. he won't absorb any of the information. <laughs> hey guys, what do you, you think of the good Sabrina place? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great, yeah. but you know, Sabrina. Um, I didn't think I would enjoy it. I thought it would be a little bit too cheesy. For me, when I first saw like the um, trailers come out on Netflix, yep, Mm-mm. I love that show. Nice. Did you watch the Christmas special? <laughs> I I have not. Yet. Okay, no. you should watch it. Yeah the 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 winter winter, winter soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Is Sabrina the winter soldier. Sabrina the winter soldier. Yeah. yeah. Before we move on, uh, there's two things uh, I just want to. I feel like it's like the middle point, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're about yep. the middle. Yeah, point. we're yep. about the middle point. So a couple of quick things. That you absolutely hated from 2018. I'll give you two just to kick it off, just yep. so you understand. Uh, the Predator movie. What an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> and I don't care what anybody says. That movie was fucking trash. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was like, I had things in there that I wanted. I could see some really crappy things, but yep. I mean, overall, it was just a fun movie. The other thing I really hated from 2018, which we didn't talk about when we did the review, was that goddamn Pitbull Africa Toto song cover from Aquaman. <laughs> what? That was <laughs> Fucking! I barely know. I like. I heard How it in the movie. I heard it, and then I was like, eh, "It whatever. was a complete change of tone." <laughs> it's like we've gone out of the water, and now we're on land. So, of course, it's Mister Worldwide. Mister Worldwide. <laughs> He's going to be the one, and it's like this terrible Toto cover. 
of Africa. It was barely a cover, if you're being it honest. It was just him it's talking. It's like he sampled it. Oh, yeah. man. I just, I wanted to die. Like a so shitty the Predator, DJ. Base, I, maybe I did die in 2018. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is your afterlife, yeah. Troy. Do you know what's funny about that is my husband only looked at me twice when he was watching the Aquaman, Aquaman movie. The first time was when that came on. He yep. looked at me and went, what the fuck? Yeah, that's the fair. The second time that's was when reaction. the crab people came out and he said, crab people from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> question, how focused was he when Mera was on screen? Um, Well, he was very focused, let's be honest, but yeah. he doesn't show it. Yeah. I was well, like, how focused were you when Jason Momoa was on screen? I was more interested in Mira. She was yeah, hotter. No, she, was. She, was, she was much, she was much better. Quite like, attractive. Do you guys head, have anything damn. that you want to just throw out a bit of hate to before we, Ooh. you know? Uh, look, I, I don't think I really hated too much from 2018. But that goddamn oh. Predator movie, though. Yeah, I loved it. The Hunter Killer I, suit. I rated it. The, <laughs> no! The ass crystals. The, the thing that he kept it in his It sounds like a South Park time. movie. It does. Anyway. Um, well, the thing I hated the most will probably lead into maybe if we're talking a topic on movies. Sure. Shall we, like, segue? Okay, yeah, very good. Yep. Yeah? Can I see what that's I all, did there? That's all right, segues. Um, Peter Quill and Infinity War. Oh, yeah. Still oh, yeah. can't fucking forgive him. Look, yeah, that's fair. I do hate him yep. now. Realistically, Don't even though, hate Thanos. Like, the fuck, I can't talk tonight. <laughs> don't even hate him. Hate Peter Quill. I don't know, man, because like I, I see where people are coming from, right? Like he was the catalyst behind the whole thing. Mm. At some point, Tony Stark is not afraid to just shoot people I know. with <laughs> repulsor rays, yet he didn't at any point think that that was okay. Remember when he did it to Falcon? And why was it taking them so goddamn long to like, you know, while all that speech was happening, <laughs> nothing else was going on. No one was talking. No one was doing anything. They were just trying to pull a goddamn glove off. Yeah. So, so they, uh, the real mm. villain here is Tony Stark. Well, look, while that, I'm not connecting no strings, but yeah. I'm 100% gr- agreeing with everything that was just said. Fuck Peter Quill. Fuck Tony Stark. <laughs> they should have just pulled that glove off. Yeah. Fuck that whole team. They, yeah. they, you know, they just made an absolute meal out of that. Mm-hmm. It was pretty basic. We what need the new Avengers here. stat. Yeah. yeah. New Avengers coming 2019. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> Maybe 2020. It's the thing. Yeah. Uh, so but where I was then. going with that yeah. was Avengers Infinity War was probably one of my favorite movies. Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. But, yeah. Look, I'm. I'll agree. Avengers Infinity War was a fantastic movie but for the uh, the sake of adding some more extra content into the episode yeah. on, I'm gonna say a movie that I had like zero expectations for but I absolutely loved and mm. it's gonna really trigger uh, an entire fan base The Predator it's not the pr- no <laughs> it is uh, Solo a Star Wars story because mm. I thought that movie was absolutely great average no I, I, it, I was had, a, it was a movie no I liked it I it's it showed like Star Wars without showing everything that Star Wars currently is. It mm. showed a whole universe that we've never really seen before. We've got like little throws backs to it, but this kind of showed a whole new world, Troy. Uh, but yeah, so so you liked it because it was something fresh to the Star Wars. Yeah, universe. absolutely. And uh, I mean, like it, the movie had so much controversy around it. So mm. it was kind of like, what's going to happen? And it came out. I loved it. I loved every second of it. And uh, I don't care what anyone else says about that movie. There you go. Uh, how, I enjoyed how many it. times have you seen it? Like I've seen every movie in my life, only once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I I would personally need to rewatch it. Like yeah. I thought it was good. Like you know, uh, like I've said that, but um, I don't know. Your so turn. is that everyone's movies or is it me? Yeah, it's you. your turn. Oh, look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look, I really thought that, that was a good movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Remember that part uh, like when crystals? they say get to yeah, the choppers? Yeah, <laughs> remember that? Anyway, uh, I did speak about this movie briefly, I think, on the podcast a little while ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago. Maybe it was not Maybe it was on a bonus episode. I can't remember. Mm. Mission Impossible Fallout. Is this everything that James Bond should be? Oh, uh, look, I, I put a thing on, the, um, on our Facebook page in relation to Ethan Hunt versus James Bond. Mm. And James Bond won by like a landslide. No, nah, that's and I'm ridiculous. Like, I don't think you guys have got seen Mission Impossible movies. No. Nah. And there was... Um, there Maybe was, they're comparing like the original Mission Impossible where he comes down on the zip line. I thought you were going to say maybe they're actually comparing Tom Cruise and then every other James Bond. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. But there was like, um, there was, uh, you know, the, the consensus was, and I'm going to call someone out here, Amanda. <laughs> she knows who she is. Uh, but she commented saying that um, basically Ethan Hunt needs to plan for everything, whereas James Bond's a little bit more uh, on his toes. And that seemed to be kind of the... But the James thing, Bond but also has a billion gadgets. 
Well, for does he every though? scenario? Does he though? Well, it depends on like which James Bond you're also talking about. Would Ethan Hunt be as good as he is if he didn't have that team of people though? Hmm. Would James you know, Bond if he didn't have Simon Pegg? Would James Bond be as good as he is? Well, who's he got? M. M. He's got like <laughs> that's it. M sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he but he doesn't. No, yeah. Mm. You know what I'm I mean? Pretty, when he's I'm out, pretty when, sure he does. No, when he's out in the field, it's pretty much you know, it's not like he's like oh fuck hey. M, I need you to... Come here and hold this shield so no one can see me <laughs> yeah. walking up this hallway. Well, if not, exactly. <laughs> if not, then that's just a disadvantage to him. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, it's not about who goddamn wins <laughs> or whatever. Mission Impossible Fallout, uh, yeah. Easily the best action movie of the year. Hmm. And Tom well. Cruise does all his own stunts in it. Broken ankle doing it too. Look, Really? Yeah. I've How ne- old is he? 50-something. Hmm. I've never been a fan of... The whole celebrities do all their own stunts thing because nine times out of ten they don't at yeah. all. And you know what? It's like but so Tom Cruise does. God damn it! Yeah, but the thing like one with thing that is, <laughs> is like if one of those celebrities like do their own stunts and stuff like it sounds super super cool. But if he injures his, himself, he puts the entire crew out of work until he's better. So, did you ever watch the um, movie series The Maze Runner? It was a book. <laughs> no one did. I did. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, it was a book series that I loved. They made it into a movie. Dylan O'Brien was the main actor who was from Teen Wolf. Oh, I was always going to see yeah, it. Yeah, who that, are we kidding? That's fine. Anyway, in I think the third installment, so they they actually made all the movies, guys. So someone liked it. Yeah. Right. Anyway, yeah. he was do, he was doing his own stunts in this series. Right. He was on a car and he was meant to jump across with a harness to the next car. It failed and he got run over. Oh, oh damn. my god! By Is the he cars? Dead? No, but nearly. Oh damn! The movie was put back a year because he physically couldn't act. Damn, Daniel. So was that his there you go, Daniel? Dylan. Dylan, close. Yeah. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> so there you go, celebrities. Maybe don't do your own stunts unless you're Tom Cruise because <laughs> you're pretty cool. All. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that everyone's movies then? Yeah. Do you want to talk about some comics? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk about some comics. Favorite comics from 2018. What do you got? Okay, you I'll got? go. F- yeah, I'll you go, go first. first. You go first. Uh, now, this this comic series took me all year to read because there's about 13 volumes to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that is The Boys. Okay, yeah. Yeah. The so, Boys. I don't know what that is. Oh, Amy, The Boys is you've, a- you've never heard Kate talk about The Boys before? <laughs> yeah, The Boys. The Boys is essentially a, um, uh, a pack of four- People yeah. goonies. who are it's yeah, the goonies, it's, it's it? the goonies essentially. Yeah, mm. um, I guess you could say they're secretly employed by the CIA to keep superheroes in check. Hmm. Yeah, and in this world, the superheroes are basically really loose units. They're like um, they're they're kind of like celebrities. Yeah, almost. They're, they're like celebrities, and they're also like frat boys. Yeah, they're like cokeheads, and <laughs> oh. you know they get into but all like, sorts of weird, sexy they things. Actually, superheroes, so like cracked out people with crazy powers, or they're yeah. just superheroes that become kind of so famous. They you know they take like advantage of that and yeah. their fame. Hmm. And, okay, you know they kind of. It's not stuff that we really need to talk about. No, what I'm on board to. anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, it, it's it, it's extremely adult. The comic, mm. yeah, because it, it touches on things where you're like, "Holy shit! I never thought I'd read about that in a comic, and I never thought I'd see a hero do that." Mm. Um, like, let alone that they all the heroes and the villains catch up every year. Yeah, there's a, like a week of peace between wow. villains and heroes, where they go to an island for an event called Hero Gasm. Yeah, and they all just bang, <laughs> and they—it's a giant orgy oh of heroes goodness. and villains. That's so weird. Yeah, very weird. weird. But you know, hey, that came from someone's mind. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and um, you know what? It—it's like I, I would almost say it's an entire volume in itself. Yeah, but it leads to nothing in this book, right? Hmm. Do you know uh, just off the top of your head uh, who writes that? I think it's Garth Ennis. Oh, it is. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so you know, someone who writes a lot of uh, actual superhero books, yeah, kind of got to let loose and like, hey, what happens if your superheroes were ordinary Not so people? Super. Mm. Yeah. yeah, super inappropriate. Yeah, nice. Uh, well, I've read, I've read two of the volumes. I How do need to get back 13? to it at some point. Yeah, I think there's like it's, it's, it's like seven. Mate. No, no, no. There's like <laughs> I think there's like ten, ten to thirteen of them. There's a fair few. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, my comic I've spoken about many times before. Is um, it Saga? It's not Saga, actually. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. Is it Predator? <laughs> You're like, now I'm going to have to change this. It's the yeah, it's the Predator comic based on the movie The Predator that came out in 2018. <laughs> it's Batman vs. Predator. It's yeah. Batman vs. Predator. No, Starring it's, Olivia Munn. It's Deadly Class, actually. Oh. Uh, yeah, which I really enjoyed. And it is, there is a, a TV show coming yes, out. Is that what you're pointing at yes. me for? <laughs> I was like, where have I heard of that before? Yeah, so, hmm. and that's the whole reason why I started it uh, in kind of anticipation for the TV show just to see hmm. um, and yeah I've loved it I haven't you know I mean god I had to go back to buy like volumes of it and then I'm I'm into single issues now so oh I'm you're living the pleb life yeah I'm living the pleb life just waiting like month to month or whatever oh there's nothing worse than doing that I mean yeah. I, I'm kind of reading the flash quite heavily but I get to these points where the story's so good that I have to like ban myself so I can kind of get a good chunk of it in yeah. one go because I hate reading week to week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. It's or month to month for, for comics sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, – look, I, I don't need to speak about it anymore. I've spoken about it a fair bit. But, yeah, uh, Dead of Class probably my favourite comic of 2018. I do want to get on board with that after seeing some of the promo, I I'll guess. hook you up with my uh, Comixology account. Oh, fab. You can check. Is that legal? I don't think so. I don't think it's illegal. But <laughs> I'll just borrow it once you're done. There's my weekly comicsology plug. There you go. So. <laughs> unpaid. Unpaid. <laughs> um, all right, over to me. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't actually read too many actual superhero focus comics this yeah. year. I went back and started reading Naruto. If we can class anime as, uh, a, as a kind of manga. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. So that's probably the. Only thing I've really read in that, other than other than the um, illustrated copy of Fantastic Beasts. Oh my god, that, that counts as a That's comic. Not a, there you go. That's not a goddamn. No, comic. I do go back and start reading Naruto from the very beginning. Oh, I have wow. no idea how many volumes. There's like a thousand of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. So and like they're when they're massive. young, when they're very young. Yeah, okay. Mm. I even have like an edition rolling around here. It's yeah, it's like right, there. right there. It's it's right there. That's it. Is that the one you That's read- the one I was reading. Oh, well, there you go. Amy's Amy's gone. <laughs> She's out of here. Yep, that's the one. I yeah, stole cool. it off my sister. Oh, nice. Excellent. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, on a comic podcast, I did not read a comic. I read anime. Well, that's fine. You know what? It's, I read it's in a book and there's comic-based pictures. And let's be honest, we haven't been accused of being a comic book podcast <laughs> for a long time. So <laughs> Good. Changing it up. <laughs> yeah. There all you right. go. That's mine. So, okay. Have you guys spoken about your favorite thing from the year at all? Uh, what do you mean? Isn't that what we've been doing? The whole time? I mean, your absolute favorite, your uh, number one oh, favorite. Oh God, don't do that to me. So no, like, do you? No, have I a haven't. Thing? You obviously have a thing. Yeah, that's look, why you're pushing look, for we're this. Kind of, we're kind of <laughs> coming towards the end of the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think it's it's time that we look at maybe bringing out the thing that you were your most enjoyed for 2000 and oh, okay and gosh. 18. You're not going to be impressed with mine, but okay. Well, uh, maybe you should go first then. <laughs> we'll, we'll start. <laughs> we'll, we'll Most to, underwhelming <laughs> yeah, yeah. to whelming. To, well, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it could be worse. So mine is a personal one. Okay. Going back God. From when I saw Usher. Oh, oh, come on. Yep. Did you end up ever seeing Nelly? I think we we're talking about that. I'm going to see Nelly in February. Okay, cool. Was that on the main show or was that on a bonus episode? It was, I can't it was on a bonus episode. Was it? Mm. Yeah, so we're talking about Nelly. Yeah. So that's I'm an fe- R&B girl at heart. Oh, yeah? Mm. Uh, how, was, how was Usher? Um, yeah, yeah. He was amazing. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I could keep him okay, going. Please don't. Yeah, please yeah, do. One oh, of the uh, <laughs> there's, I have this weird burn. <laughs> um, Just let it go. Let it burn. Yep. Just let it burn. Anyway, no, I went and I saw Usher lifelong. So this year I went to Disneyland, which I've wanted to do since I was a small child. Also saw Usher, which I wanted to do since I was a small child. Wow. Dancing in the streets in the rain. And mm, you read mm, that mm, goddamn mm. Naruto and book. I started again. I don't even know what made me want to do that but yes i saw usher with a group of my closest girlfriends and it was wonderful wow mm. okay that's that's Highlight. good mm. all right uh should i go i think you should go okay uh look watching predator no <laughs> look i mean i don't know i've got heaps of um i got heaps of things i guess but i guess i'll, I'll say a personal one too okay and Nostalgia. this is gonna be this this is this is gonna be so 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 sappy <laughs> Uh, it's the friends I made along the way. Aww. <laughs> uh, no, seriously though, I did start. I, I did start a new job uh, slash career this year, uh, and I managed to make quite a few what I would class as probably uh, long time 
friends, first time Ride or listeners. Die. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Uh, but yeah, long time friends. And I think it's the friends that we make along the way that really um, shape the the polls the, in our listener community. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, I agree. No point doing anything if it's by yourself. Yeah, and they know who they are. So, hey, you guys. Well done. Yeah, thanks. What do you got? Look, mine is, um, you know, it, it's something that is not close to me. It's something that is extremely... It's basically a trip down the soldier lane. So this is mm-hmm. your favourite thing of the year? Yes. This is my favourite thing of the year. And uh, I just want to confirm <laughs> that it's not your daughter. No, it is. <laughs> this, this is. this was a close battle, <laughs> but this just came in at top. Okay. okay. And uh, that is Let's Go Pikachu. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, this game, like, I, I was never a gamer. Yeah. I, have, I can't remember the last time I gamed, but mm. then this came out and I was like, I need to go buy a Nintendo Switch. So <laughs> I laid down some hard-earned money and went out, bought this game, and basically I found 30 extra hours of my life where I could spend <laughs> it playing this video game. Damn. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's great because I'm a, like a Gen 1 mm. Pokemon player. Yeah. I haven't played any other really or Pokemon the, game. The colors, whatever they are. Yeah, like there's them. Sapphire yeah. and Ruby or whatever the fuck they are these mm. days. Who knows? Yep. I'm like Gen 1, red, yellow, blue. Yep. And this is what this game all is all about. Is nice. that the one that I had a quick go at? Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. So... I need Amy to go out and buy it. Yeah. And then I'm going to battle her. Yeah. And it's going to be just glory days forever. Not Troy. He's not invited. No, no. I don't. I don't. <laughs> uh, but that's not my thing anyway. Nah. Was Pokemon Go 2018? I feel like it was. Mm. But it was oh. probably, it's got to be 2017. Yeah, right? I feel like it was 2017. Did the I ever tell you about my experience? It was a good place, except I wasn't. Um, <laughs> yeah. Was it? Did I ever tell you about when I went to Japan and oh, saw? And you went to Disneyland. And I went to Disneyland. And you saw Usher. Guys, let's go back again. No, there we were walking down this street, and it kind of felt a little bit unsafe. And I was like, "We need to get out of here now." It's like someone's going to leap out of their stall and grab you. Was the Squirtle Squad there? It, yeah, that's what it felt like. I felt like the, <laughs> the Squirtle Squad was going to jump out, but. Yeah, it was in Japan. We got lost. So I was like, oh, shit, this isn't very good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm like, why are there so many people in this dungy walkway? I feel like this is there's like naughty things happening here. No, they were all playing Pokemon Go. Oh, damn. Literally every person in that street had multiple phones out. Wow. Tourists, locals, everyone was in this street. And I was like, who's got Pokemon? Because I took it off my phone because I got a new phone. I didn't re-download it because I don't know. Lost its nostalgia. Yeah. One of the guys After had it week on. One. <laughs> yeah. One of the guys had it on his phone, and they were all trying to battle a Mewtwo. What? Oh, yes. Wow. Oh my god. And he had not. Pl- the guy who got his phone it had not played it in like six months. He's like, "I'm going to beat it." I'm like, "No, you are not." <laughs> no, <you're> not. <laughs> That's amazing. So saw so a Mewtwo on Pokemon Go. Twenty eighteen. L- literally brought nerds outside. Yeah. And yeah. the world together. And they were like elderly people there too like wow with their walking i'm not even lying to you a guy had a walking stick with a frame built on it to hold his phone amazing but it was yeah he and was, he was like he was he a was 16 year old <laughs> kid who had just <laughs> never gotten off the no, couch that's it yeah. but yeah anyway sorry off topic there but that was pretty cool that's amazing how many of them turned their hat backwards when they showed up <laughs> so you know shit was going down i hope all of them yeah because i'll be very disappointed mm, with the little black Tough hanging out. Yeah. The front. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was my favorite thing of 2018 is uh, reminiscing of uh, many, many yesteryears mm. of uh, Pokemon playing. There you go. Uh, just one, one more quick, uh, you know, thing from 2018 that I've loved. The listeners. Oh, you guys. You guys. Uh, and that's basically, I just wanted to say that so I could segue into listener feedback <laughs> because it's all about that. Uh, and this week we asked, uh, hey, what was one thing that you guys loved from 2018? Mm. And, and what did it. they say? Well, it could have been anything. It was the point. Like it didn't have to be anything specific. Mm-hmm. Uh, Keegan Moyer, name sounds familiar because it's goddamn Cade's brother. Uh <laughs> He loved Brax. And that's my dog. And that's Kate's dog. <laughs> Not so. Kate, just his dog. 
Uh, Peter Bauer said, I loved you guys. Oh. And then he said, seriously, because no one believed him. <laughs> uh, he said, shit can get heavy, can press you down, twist in your gut and throw you about. But you lads in the community here comes through the Patreon folk, especially it can make a daily grind or a shit day or a particularly shit headspace all a lot more tolerable. Is that an ad for the Patreon? I think it is. I think we, I feel Thanks, like Peter. we paid him for that yeah, yeah. at some point. Uh, simply go to patreon.com forward slash comic con pod to join in on a good headspace for as little as $2. Yeah, that's, um, uh, yeah. Uh, Peter said so. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Uh, Rachel Webb said, I love joining this community. Oh, no, isn't it? Really nice. And she's talking about the listener community. You can find that on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> None of these are real. <laughs> We're just <laughs> making are, them up. You're talking about segues, and these are segues into ads. So uh, that's a uh, comic confidential list of community on Facebook. Oh, okay, <laughs> you've caught what I had. Uh, she she basically said, "I honestly can't even remember how it happened, but I'm so grateful for the Infinity War opening event and getting to be a part of this crazy clan of amazing people." Mm. It uh, is pretty crazy. Matthew Krogan said, I loved meeting the father I never knew I had, the ultimate professional. Uh, that's me, by the way, you guys. Oh, oh I figured. Just so you all know. <laughs> Lenny I was like, why are you saying that in such a weird way? He met his father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it what wasn't actually me, and at some point, <laughs> wow, you're did. gonna have an awkward interaction with your friend. <laughs> oh, Matt, if you did meet your real dad, I'm so sorry. Uh, Lenny Salter, I liked finally getting my life together. Uh, also, Spider Verse was incredible. I haven't seen that. What? No. Wow. Well, my you husband. See my husband has get your been life together. Working away, and I'm you not allowed Aquaman to see it. You saw Aquaman before you saw Spider Verse. He picked it, mm. not me. The Aquaman was good. Anyway, Aquaman remember that goddamn good. Pitbull song that was in Aquaman? <laughs> oh, <laughs> have you boy. have you got a chance to rewatch Ooh. it yet? No, I haven't. Oh, I haven't. Uh, Just so to hear Toto Africa. <laughs> Amy, Amy, give us a two minute review on Aquaman. Yeah, um, hit shit or split. Uh, uh, it was a hit for. Oh, yeah, it was a hit for me. Okay, it was a hit for me. Um, well, why was the hesitation there? I felt like it was a little bit cheesy Aquaman, if that makes sense. Yeah, but I didn't hate it. So it was. <laughs> I didn't hate it, so therefore it's a hit. Yeah, and I think because my sister loved Aquaman even when he was a dweeb, yeah. like in old school. Super yeah. Friends. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, Super Friends. How could I forget? Yeah. Um, so I went in there being like, oh, yeah, nah, I'm going to like this. Mm. And I think that was just in my head the whole time. It was a good movie. Visually amazing. Yes. Oh, my God. It was all, un- it, that was all underwater, was what I like. Not really. It, but was, you know, no, it really was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they made people look like they were underwater. Yeah, they had like to film everything minutes. in thirty second bits <laughs> while everyone Double held speed. their breath. Yeah, but yeah. no, I I enjoyed it. It was um, Jason Momoa is definitely a good Aquaman. I think I like the spin they put on it. He's a good Jason Momoa. He's a good Jason Momoa. Did but, you see him doing the hucker? That was yes, scary. Yeah, uh, he also scary did good. it like almost multiple times throughout the movie, which I thought was a bit <laughs> when strange. he like had the trident. Yeah, but um. I didn't really like Nicole Kidman in it, though. Oh, I loved her in it. Did you? Yeah. I thought she was good. She was a badass bitch. She was a badass bitch. Maybe the reason I didn't like it because I didn't have enough of her. Maybe. I kind of maybe wanted a little bit more. You know who I loved? Tamarua Morrison. Who's that? Tom Curry. Uh, that goddamn de-aging <laughs> was <laughs> flawless. <laughs> Amazing. No, it was It was a pretty... like It was, like, it was a fun movie. Mm. I had a good time with it. Were you I just a, don't I haven't know if I liked it. <laughs> were, you a, were you a split... Uh, I don't even know. I think I think it was a split. Yeah. Mm. Um, and that's purely because I had to give it a rating because I honestly <laughs> don't know where I sit. Uh, I've got a couple more just before mm-hmm. we wrap it up. Uh, Troy Ellington says, "I think Cade having a baby girl is at the top of the list, mate." Uh, <laughs> Only wrong. The- <laughs> Look, it was a Pokemon. close second. Pokemon. Yeah, is the answer to that question. <laughs> it's let's go, it's, Pokemon. It's Pikachu let's or whatever. Pikachu. That's it. Not Eevee. Uh, so hey, now Eevee was my favorite Pokemon. You take that back. No, because she evolved into. Anything you want. Flareon was personally my favourite evolution, though. Yeah, but that was the worst one. No! Right. Hey, Jolteon's the best. Hey. My sister says that. Anyway, we're having hey, words after this. <laughs> Can I please finish off? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, Jaden Till said the fact that people can have the opinion on here and that if someone disagrees uh, with that, they're not having a go and are willing to talk it out like a normal person. See, that's what we were just demonstrating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I had to be the guy that broke it up like That's a right. jerk. All right. <laughs> I'm the jerk then. Fine. Okay. Uh, Amy will be joining me at some point throughout the year to wrap up Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones forever. That's a thing that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, boy, I can't wait. Maybe going to be there too. Maybe you should watch Whether some. he wants to be or not. <laughs> uh, that's it, man. 
Kate, you can sing the theme tune in that episode. You need to learn it, though. What a shit movie. <laughs> it's not a movie. It's a TV show. Okay. You don't uh, even have the tune Scratch right. that. We're not having that. That's not happening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it, man. That's well, it. Let's wrap this bad boy up. Uh, in the meantime, if you want previous episodes, where can you go, Cade? You can go to our new website. That's ccradio.com.au. Damn. Yeah. New. New for 2019? Yeah, exactly. New, new, new year, new, new me? New website. Yeah. yeah oh, that's so where I was trying to get. It new wasn't new year, out. new website. That's Jump it. on there. You can find all the episodes for all the shows and all the show notes. Uh, thanks for listening. As always, I'm Troy. I'm Cade. And I'm Amy. And this has been Comic Confidential. If you love this podcast, then head over to ComicConPod.com to check out the other incredible shows on our network. Whether you love comedy, pop culture, or movie and TV reviews, CC Radio has got you covered. 